Good morning, my name is Dustin and welcome back to my shop. I took a little break. I'm always building things in here, but I don't film everything I build. So I took about a month off, worked on some cool projects. With it being Christmas time, well Christmas was a couple days ago, I've given away some knives. I'm gonna make a couple more. I've got a profile that I've made before that I really like. I've got a big chunk of 1084 from Pops Knife Supply, but I've also got some handle materials. I've got some polyresin scales that I got from, I think, Woodcraft. I've used these before and I really like them. I've got this awesome chunk of burl right here that I might cut some scales out of. Kind of looks like a brain. What I'm really looking forward to trying is, uh, I'm gonna see if I can make some scales out of probably just one piece. This is old growth redwood that came off the beach probably uh, 20 or 30 even more years ago uh, up in Northern California. I'm gonna clean up this, this piece. Oh, my molds are dirty. And if it looks right, I'm gonna soak it in some deep pore epoxy and stabilize it. This stuff is soft. But if it works like I think it should, this has potential to make some really neat scales. It's just stock removal today. I do hope to uh, bring some forging to my channel soon. I've been working on it, uh, but it's not, uh, not for this steel, not for this knife. <laughs> yeah. Look how pretty that is. So that looks really, really pretty. Probably a little over a half inch thick. I'm gonna leave them heavy so I can uh, grind them down to what I want. But again, if you've ever worked with old growth redwood, it is incredibly soft. I guess before I do anything, I need to clean the epoxy out of these molds. It typically comes out pretty easy. Yeah, it's just peeling right out of there. So we're gonna get these cleaned up, cut down to size, pour some epoxy. So I've got the deep pour epoxy into the molds. My scales have been moved into my house, into my gear room. Probably gonna take a day or two for those to set up. I'm looking forward to see what they're gonna look like. I've now got my knife template onto the 1084. It's 3 16 of an inch thick. Should be a pretty good size for this knife. And I'm gonna actually make two of them. So I'm gonna trace this out, flip it over and trace the other one out, get them cut out, and then we'll get grinding. I love this port of bandsaw for stock removal knife making. It really, uh, it really helps. I like it. I just put a new blade on it and uh, it's cutting good. Got one profile cut out. I'm gonna cut the other, then we'll probably hit the grinder.
I am at a point, as soon as this layout fluid dries to get my preliminary bevels in, I got the burl scales roughed out. I think they're gonna look really pretty. Unfortunately, the stuff in the in the molds, uh, that deep pour epoxy is not, not dry. It's probably gonna be a, a few days before I can work with them. So I'll probably shape those after I heat treat these. So that's no big deal. It's not the way I like to do it, but that doesn't mean it can't be done that way. It's just not the, it's not the way I typically do it. So we're gonna scratch some lines, get some preliminary bevels going, and uh, probably dip these things in some oil. Okay, so I have the, the blade with the burl handle. It's glued up. It's gonna sit right there until I'm ready to work it. The red wood, I don't know why I thought that would be ready in a day or two with that deep pour epoxy. It's still just a little bit gummy. Um, it's probably got another, I mean, typically when I pour that stuff, I wait a week before I work it. So I, I don't know why I thought <laughs> I'd uh, work it in a day or two. Uh, not ready. The scales do look good. They're gonna look awesome, but I, I don't wanna push the issue, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other knife prepped and ready for the scales. I'm not gonna film any of that because I've already done it with that knife and we'll bring you back when I'm ready to start uh, shaping the handles on both knives and we'll get them finished up. And I think they're both gonna look great. All right, it has been about a week, but I'm finally out here with some time. I'm gonna try and finish uh, maybe one of these, we'll see. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's, it's a long story, but I did end up going with some of the other scales on this knife. The redwood scales are right here, and they're, they're, they're going to look beautiful, but I made a mistake. Like an idiot, I uh, didn't put any, uh, any support behind it when I drilled the, the holes for the pins, and that soft wood just blew out. It's still usable, but I would have to make the, the scales a little thinner than I want. Uh, so again, uh, they, I'm going to do it again in the future. I have plenty of more redwood, but uh, I didn't want to mess around with that. So we're going to get started shaping some handles. And I got one more to go, but this one with the burl handle is wicked sharp. I'm gonna clean it up, get a little boiled linseed oil on here and see what happens. Well, I'm gonna let that soak up uh, a coat or two or three of uh, boiled linseed oil. It is cold. Yeah, it's cold out here. Uh, I'm gonna get to work on the other one. I'm not gonna film any of that. I didn't even film much of this. Um, it's kind of boring stuff, just uh, a little bit of sanding and putting an edge on it. But I'll bring you back when they're both done and we'll uh, take a look at them and uh, move on to a new project. <laughs> <laughs> 